Hello, I'm Gopal Ashok, Product Manager for Cloud Memory Store. Cloud Memory Store is Google Cloud Platform's in-memory data store service. The beta release of Cloud Memory Store supports Redis, which, as you know, is one of the most popular in-memory data stores available today. Getting started with Cloud Memory Store is easy. Once you go to the Google Cloud Console, go to the menu, and if you scroll down uh, under Storage, you will see the Memory Store um, option. If you click on the Memory Store option, it will take you to the Memory Store landing page. If you're creating Memory Store for the first time, the Google Cloud Console will automatically enable the API for you. In this particular case, I have created a few instances um, already. But let's go ahead and create a new instance. To create a new instance, click on Create Instance button. Once you click on Create Instance button, it'll take you to the Create Instance page. The first thing that you need to provide is the instance ID, which uniquely identifies the instance that you're provisioning. Once you've provided the instance ID, you can optionally also provide a display name, which is a more descriptive name for the instance. When you provision a Cloud Memory Store instance, we provision Redis version 3.2. Behind the scenes, we ensure that all the critical patches are applied so that you don't have to worry about whether uh, there are any security vulnerabilities that you need to worry about. The next thing you need to choose is the service tier. Uh, Cloud Memory Store provides two tiers of service, basic and standard. The basic tier provides a standalone instance of Redis, and it, this tier is great for simple caches. The standard tier provides a highly available Redis instance. With a highly available Redis instance, you get both a master and a replica. Once you select the tier, um, select the region. With Cloud Memory Store, you can only connect to uh, the instances within the same region. So if you choose US Central 1, applications within US Central 1 can connect to that particular instance. Once you choose the region, you can either choose a particular zone where the master instance will be deployed, or you can choose any. If you choose any, we automatically pick the zone for the master and the replica instance. The next thing you want to select is uh, instance capacity or the size of the Redis instance. Memory Source allows you to choose anywhere between 1 and 300 gigabytes. And depending on the size, as you can see, um, the instance will provide different network throughput. For the 300 gigabytes, you can see that you'll get about 1,500 megabytes per second. And for 1 gigabyte, one gigabyte, you get about 375 megabytes per second. Once you've selected the right size for your application, um, the next thing you need to select is the network or the VPC network where the instance is going to get deployed. The VPC network determines which VMs can connect to the instance. Once you've selected the network, you can also choose the eviction policy if you choose to um, change it uh, from the default. In this case, I'm going to select all keys allow you. And then you go ahead and click Create. Once you click Create, you can see that the, the instance is getting provisioned. But before I tell you how to connect to the instance, um, I just want to quickly touch upon how easy it is to scale a deployed instance. Now, if you want to change the size of a deployed instance, you click on the instance and click on the Edit button. Once you go into the edit page, all you need to do is change the size of the instance. So if you want to change 1 GB to 5 GB, just change the size and click Save, and we automatically scale the instance for you. One thing to note here is that the basic tier, when you scale a basic tier, a tier instance, we fully flush the cache, and also the application gets disconnected. But in standard tier, the scaling is mostly an online operation where you will lose connectivity for a brief period, and there may be a little bit of data loss because of unreplicated data. So as you can see, it is very easy to create and scale a Redis instance using Memory Store. Now let's take a look at how you can connect to the uh, Memory Store instance. As you can see, when we deploy the Memory Store instance, we deploy using a private IP address. This is great because the, your Redis instance is automatically protected from the internet uh, because it can only be connected using a private IP. Cloud Memory Store is also fully Redis protocol compatible, so you can actually run Redis benchmark against it. And let's see how it goes. As you can see, when you run the benchmark, you get pretty good throughput uh, with the Cloud Memory Store instance that you've deployed. So the next obvious question is, how do I monitor the instance? 
To monitor the instance, there are different, multiple ways to do it. If you go into the details of an instance in Cloud Console, there are a few metrics that we have published that you can use to monitor the instance. But we have more detailed monitoring available in Stackdriver. And with the Stackdriver integration, a lot more of the metrics are available through the Stackdriver dashboard. As you can see, if you go into Stackdriver, um, you can see all the key metrics that you need to monitor a Redis instance. As you can see, average commands per second, the 95th percentile latency, cache rate ratio, et cetera, are all available. And these are important metrics that you need to determine how your instance is functioning. If you want to see the full list of all the metrics that are available, just go to Metrics Explorer, type in Redis, and you can see the full list of metrics that are published in Stackdriver. So as you can see, with Cloud Memory Store, creating, managing, and monitoring a Redis instance is actually very easy. So in short, with Cloud Memory Store, you don't have to worry about maintaining your own VM to manage your Redis instance. Instead, you can simply click a few buttons and then create, manage, and monitor the instance. So in summary, let's take a, look at, a quick look at the offering. Uh, with Cloud Memory Store, you have a basic uh, tier and a standard tier. And within the tiers, you also have memory uh, tiers, which gives you different memory sizes with different network performance. As you can see, the M1 capacity tier gives you 3 gigabits per second, while M5 gives you about 12 gigabits per second. Also, with respect to pricing, you get a wide range of pricing options that allows you to choose the right uh, tier for you. So as you can see, basic M1 is less than five cents per gigabyte hour, and the standard instances are a little bit more. Basic tier is ideal if you want to have a low cost, simple Redis cache.